Hi guys, it's Amy with Feel Better With Yoga. How are you? How are you coping right now? It's been a long year. A year full of anxiety, depression, fear, change that's been thrust upon us, transition that we didn't want to go through. And I think for all of us, a great sense of loss of what we had before. And I don't know how you're coping, um, but I personally, I found myself in a bit of a, um, <laughs> a 2020 roundabout, like on the roads, where I just keep going in circles and I can't figure out how to exit and get out of it without getting hit by another car. I, I don't know about you, I don't know where you live. Um, here in Houston, we don't really have many roundabouts. They put one in my town like five years ago and I avoid it and <laughs> if I'm in it I just go in circles and I can't figure out how to get out. <laughs> so that's been this year. Um, so I decided to give myself a big kick in the pants and take a deep breath, look both ways and then exit and get out of the roundabout. And the best way I knew to do that was by reconnecting with all of you and filming again and letting us practice together again. So I hope this practice finds you safe and healthy and your families too. I hope it finds you sleeping well and taking care of yourself or at least trying to find some time for self-care. So as usual, find a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Let's get started. We start by taking a deep breath in and letting that out. Take another breath just like that and let it out. Just start to turn your awareness to your own breath. We're not really trying to change our breathing in any way. We're just breathing like we always do, but we're noticing it, noticing what it feels like and noticing what it does to our body, how it shifts and moves us. With each inhale, feel yourself grow a little bit bigger as your chest rises and falls, as your rib cage fills up, your belly lifts. Maybe you sit up even taller as you breathe in. With each exhale, feel yourself soften, shrinking a little bit. The chest falls, the rib cage just come back down, belly comes back in. Notice the rhythm and the pattern of your breath, whether it's regular, whether it's not, don't change it, just listen to it and notice it. Now start to notice where you are in space. Literally feel your body in the air around you. Notice the temperature of the room, if there's a fan blowing or if you're outside, the wind blowing on you. Or maybe none at all. Feel the top of your head lifting up towards the sky or towards your ceiling. And now feel the bones in your bottom and your bottom and the backs of your legs, the edges of your legs and feet and ankles pressing down into the ground. Feel gravity holding you in place. Feel each breath coming in energizing you literally every breath in bringing in the oxygen that your body needs so much to keep you alive and every exhale letting you soften and release the old stuff that you don't need anymore in a time of fear and anxiety 
And after months of being at home, working from home, or not being able to go to a yoga studio, or not being able to go to a restaurant, or the movies, or whatever, in whatever way your life has changed, we start to feel really stuck and stagnant, horribly bored, frustrated. So imagine each breath you take in, bringing in new, clean energy, bright, warm, making everything a little bit more possible, giving a little bit more hope. One more breath sitting in stillness like that and then we'll start moving. After you exhale, ready, open your eyes. Let's shift. Come on to hands and knees, all fours, tabletop. Get situated. You don't have to hold still. Rock a little bit. Shift. Push one hip to one side. And then to the other side. Notice what that feels like. I feel tight here and in the other side in the inner thigh. So we're just starting to wake everything up moving muscles that maybe we haven't moved like this in way too long. Each movement telling us, telling our bodies when to move. Okay, bring your hips back into the center. Little bit of arching and rounding as you inhale. Little bit of an arch in your back, or a lot if that feels good to you face up, stretching your throat, exhale round, push the space between your shoulder blades up to the ceiling, drop your chin to your chest, and keep that going, breathe in, arch, breathe out, and round, if arching doesn't feel good, as you inhale, come to a neutral spine, maybe lift your face up, exhale and round, one more, Hey, come back into neutral spine. By neutral spine, I mean flat back. So you're not doing too much of an arch. You're not curling your hips under, just regular. Walk your hands out a little bit. Let's move forward and back. Just slowly starting to bring some energy into the body. Inhale, push forward, shoulders uh, about on top of your wrists or hands. Exhale, push back. Grip the floor so you've got this big stretch under your arms and through your rib cage and your spine. Breathe forward and back. Inhale. Exhale back. Just like when you're a kid and you're sitting in a swing and you just pump forward and back. Eyes closed if that feels good. Eyes open if it makes you dizzy and you don't like it. One more. Come back up to hands and knees. We're going to come into a little bit of balancing and a little bit of core work. Anytime we work our tummy, it really increases our energy and our heart rate. Makes us feel a little bit stronger. So we'll start with one leg. I'm going to put my right leg straight out behind me. Hips are squared, so I'm not doing to the side like that. Just right here. Whatever leg is up, take the opposite arm. Reach it all the way up in front of you. And like a tug of war, like somebody's got your hand and somebody's got your foot and they're pulling long and you're trying to stay balanced. So you may be squeezing, squeezing your bottom, squeezing your thigh strong and tight, squeezing the belly so you don't fall over. And breathing. One more breath here. Let it out. Now we're going to add a little bit of tummy stuff to it to wake us up more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend that knee, bring it in, and bring your elbow back towards your body. If this is too much, you can do just the leg. Breathe in, stretch long. Exhale, crunch the tummy. Three more. Exhale, crunch. Good. Bring it back to this position we started in, right here. Reach around with this arm, bend the raised leg, see if you can find your foot. That's a little bit hard. 
It's like fishing and you can't find it. If you can't find your foot, put the knee down, reach back, see if you can find your foot that way, then lift it up. So we're opening the chest and shoulder, but also getting a big stretch right here through the hip flexor. Oops, see, I can't find my foot. And the top of the thigh. A couple of breaths right here. If you fall down, it is okay. Just don't hurt yourself. All right, straighten all that out. Let it go. Maybe you want to shake that leg out a little bit. Other side. Ready? Whatever leg was up before, keep it down. Other leg goes straight out behind you. Strong, long leg. You can point your toe or you can flex your foot. Whatever feels most mm to you. Other arm out. So now I've got my right arm and left leg. It doesn't matter what, what pair you're doing. Reach and pull, tug of war, tight buns, strong, tight muscles in the leg, tummy tight, keeping you. The tummy tight is what's keeping you from falling down. One more breath. Let it out. Now breathe in, reach, exhale, knee towards the nose, elbow back towards the belly, and then reach out again. Exhale, crunch. And remember, if that if you don't like that, if that balance is too hard, just do one more. Bring it out. Okay. Bend that top leg. Reach behind. See if you can find your foot. If you can't, put the knee down. Look at it. Reach that way. And then maybe it'll come up. Three breaths. Okay. Bring it out. Bring everything back down. Shake out whatever needs to shake out. And let's sit back into child's pose. Knees apart and come to sit back on heels, reaching your bottom. If your bottom doesn't get there, leave your bottom up wherever it goes. Walk your arms straight out in front of you. Maybe your forehead finds the floor. Take a couple of breaths here. Okay, walk both arms all the way over to one side, off the mat, and take a big breath, and you feel this big stretch down the tricep, in through your underarm, down your rib cage. Walk your hands back to center, all the way over to the other side. Big breath in. And on the next exhale, hands come back to center. All right, come back up to hands and knees. Walk your hands out a little bit. One foot at a time, come into plank. Plank is a whole body energizer, but also in the tummy. Squeeze your tummy. Notice where you are. If your bottom's up high, that's okay, but see if you can bring it down level, like you are a plank of wood. Okay, one more breath. Let's shift back into downward facing dog. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale, shift back. Downward dog. Does not have to be straight legs, heels on the ground, none of that. Just walk and explore. Maybe your calves are screaming at you like, what in God's name are you doing to us today? That's okay. Walk it out. One more breath. Okay, now we're going to shift forward and back. Back into plank where we started. Breathe in. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Okay, three more like that. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Last time, exhale, push back. Good, drop your knees down. Let's stretch everything out a little bit before we start flowing. Get your blocks or coffee table or maybe nothing at all. We're just going to bring the right foot through, 
can come into a kneeling lunge. Hands can stay on the floor or on blocks or even right here on your knee. Curl the back toes under and push as though you're trying to lift yourself off the ground. You're not, but it's that act action. Instead of it being a passive stretch, let's let it be strengthening too. So we're pushing down into the ground and also feeling this huge stretch in the front of the thigh. One more breath. Okay, hands on the floor or on blocks, shift back. Stretch out those tight hamstrings in the front leg. If you're already feeling it fine, don't need to change your foot. If you're, if you're not really feeling anything, flex the foot back. Keep your back safe during this. So your back is pretty straight, neutral, so that you're not rounding forward to try to get here. The goal is to feel hamstring stretch while keeping your back safe. Okay, let's go forward and back a little bit. Breathe in. As you breathe out, shift back. Three more. One more breath. Okay, drag this leg back, knee to the ground. If it needs to, kick it out a little bit, stretch it, shake it around, bring it back down. Other leg, step it forward. Again, blocks are great. If you don't have them, don't freak out. Hands to the floor, bring that leg in front of you. Sink down. Hands on the floor, up here, on blocks. And then we'll tuck the back toes under and just push into the ground a little bit. I'm not lifting, but it's that feeling of I might. I might just jump off the ground. One more breath. Okay, exhale, shift back. Oh, tight hamstring. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And again, a lot of people think, I need to get my nose down to my knee. Not if it's compensating your back, if your back is struggling, because that's how we hurt our back. So straight back, maybe even bend the knee, flex the foot back. Play with it. And see where you find the best stretch for you. All right, now inhale forward into the kneeling lunge again. Exhale, shift back. One more time. Okay, relax. Take this leg back, knee to the ground, or maybe kick it around a little bit first and now knee to the ground. Hands down to the floor. We're gonna lift up into downward facing dog. And now we're gonna start moving through our active flow. Everything we've been doing is flow, has been flowing. But we're gonna make it a little bit more movement now. So inhale, bring the right leg up towards the sky or the ceiling. Hips are squared and you can flex your foot making that leg long and strong, squeezing your bottom and your thighs. One more breath. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it forward, and we're going to plant it in front of us. And this is where you may say, well, I can't. I couldn't either when I first started yoga. So maybe you get your foot here, grab it, and bring it forward. Back foot is going to spin flat at an angle. Help yourself come up. We're going to come up into warrior one. Hips stay fairly squared here. Rise up. Hold right here. Just a few breaths. Feel your feet pressing down into the ground. 
pushing the floor away from you. One more breath. Exhale, open up into warrior two. And all we've done is take the back foot from being angled this way to being pointing more straight ahead. A few breaths here. Drop back into reverse warrior, hand to your thigh, or anywhere it goes. Other arm up and over. Exhale, back into warrior two. Let's come into extended side angle. Hand or wrist or forearm on the thigh, other arm straight up, or even at an angle here. Last breath here. Exhale, relax this arm with the elbow securely on the thigh. Bring that hand down to the floor, other hand down. Walk your hands to center. This foot is going to turn facing straight ahead, so the feet are both facing the long edge of the mat. Big inner thigh stretch. Keep your back long and straight. Drop your head. If it feels good, if you like to wiggle and move, feel free. Now this is where we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, walk both hands over to the other side, facing the back of your mat, and now your left foot. Drop the right knee down to the ground. Okay, so we're in that lunge we were in, the kneeling lunge we were in before. Now watch this. Right hand down on the ground. We're going to twist towards our left side and lift the left arm up. One more breath. Now I'm going to get really weird. Take this leg that's in front, drag it all the way back. Whoa! Into a modified side plank. One more breath. Okay, take this top arm back down to the floor. Pick the other knee up. Push back into downward facing dog. What would you think of that? Okay, we're going to do the whole thing again with the left leg then. Now, okay, so same as before. Now we lift the left leg up. And it's a little bit weird because we're facing the wrong way. And sometimes it feels like, wait, this is, I didn't, like, it's confusing because we're not facing the way we want to face. Maybe you're facing away from the TV or facing the side of the room you didn't want to look at. One more breath. But that's okay. Exhale, bend the knee. Step that foot as far forward as you can get it. And that might be here. Grab that calf or ankle. Help it. Help it get forward. Back foot goes flat. Help yourself. Hands on thighs up into warrior one. If you feel like your legs are too far apart, bring them in a little bit closer. Settle in here. Feel how strong you are. One more breath. Open up warrior two. And I like to, te I tend to take whatever foot the leg is bent, move it forward a tiny bit just to, so the heel lines up with the arch of the other foot. That's all. Drop back into reverse warrior. Drop means just drop this back arm, lift the other arm up to your ceiling or whatever's above you, the sky. Okay. 
exhale into warrior two and then tip over extended side angle hand wrist or forearm on the thigh other arm reach it up straight up like this or over your head at an angle it's like art it's your choice you can do whatever feels cool to you one's not harder or better than the other so i do both One more breath. Okay. Drop this top arm. Make sure you're supported right here on your thigh, elbow on thigh, so that you don't hurt your back. Hand to the ground. Other hand comes to the ground. Walk them to center. Both feet facing forward or even a tiny bit pigeon-toed. And why do I do that? It, it Turning the legs inward from the hips opens up the hips and the back a little bit more. One more breath. Okay, walk both hands over now to the right foot and drop the left knee. Okay. Left hand flat on the ground, twist towards the bent knee, right arm up in the air. And then we're going to do that funky thing we did a minute ago we're going to drag the front foot back take your time with it it does not have to be this whoosh big graceful move all right breathe in breathe out drag that foot back plant it there you are in this modified side plank and here we're reaching up and we feel our rib cage and this side of our waist being lifted even more using all those core muscles to protect our back and keep us tall. One more breath and as you exhale take that hand back down to the floor and come back to center squared and into downward dog and guess what we're going to do that whole thing on both sides two more times but as we do we'll speed it up a tiny bit this is where I always crack my toes please feel free if you've got cracking toes all right so let's do it again now inhale right leg straight up to the ceiling and then we're just gonna step it forward help that foot come forward plant it down back foot goes flat breathe up into warrior one Exhale, open into warrior two. Settle here. Breathe back into reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Take a breath. Exhale, drop that arm down. Bring both hands to the floor. Square your feet so they're both pointing forward. Take a breath. Exhale, we're already going to walk our hands all the way over to the other side, the back of the mat, left foot forward drop the knee okay right hand flat twist towards the bent knee left arm comes up make sure you're stable before you go into the modified side plank breathe in take your time bring that leg back pow or maybe crash i've done plenty of that too okay top arm comes back down into downward facing dog Walk it out a little bit. Ready? Other leg. Inhale, left leg straight out behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Grab it, help it get forward. Back foot goes flat. Come up. Breathe yourself up tall into warrior one. Exhale, open, solid, strong, grounded into warrior two. Ready? Breath moves you. Inhale, back. Reverse warrior exhale extended side angle inhale exhale drop the arm walk both hands to the center feet face you know like they do okay <laughs> that was a great instruction walk both hands over to the right right foot forward drop the left knee left hand on the floor twist twisted kneeling lunge 
And when you're ready, make sure you're stable here first. Drag that foot back and pow! And now bring the top arm down. If you're tired, pause, take child's pose for a minute, or just catch your breath, drink some water, and then catch up. Okay, back into downward dog. We're going to do it one more time. And this time we're going to increase it just a little bit. You can not increase. We're going to add, a, add something, and you don't have to. You can do what we just did these two times. Okay, inhale, right leg straight out behind you. Exhale, step the foot forward. Help it get forward. Back foot flat. Breathe yourself up and tall and strong. Exhale, settle into warrior two. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Big lung filling up. Exhale, extended side angle. Okay, drop the top arm to the floor. Other arm comes down. Wide legged forward fold. Walk both hands over. Right hand stays on the ground. This time, you can put your knee down like we did the other two times, or leave it up. Ready? Same thing. Twist. Bring the left arm up towards the ceiling. And now here, for the grand finale, just like we did before, drag the top foot back into a full side plank. And here, you can have one foot in front of the other for better balance. If you're feeling crazy, you can stack one foot and ankle on top of the other. And then bring the top arm back down to the floor, shift back into downward dog. How was that? And if you did it with the knee down, great. Obviously, I love that because we did it twice. <laughs> that bird. I get a lot of crows in the backyard. Okay, left leg, breathe it in and up. Exhale, bend the knee, step it forward, plant the foot, help it. Back foot flat, breathe in, rise up, and open up, warrior two. Ready? Inhale, reverse warrior, and exhale, extended side angle. Top arm comes down, hands to the ground, wide-legged forward fold. Breathe in. Breathe out, both hands come over to the right side. You can drop the knee down like we did before if you want to play with this. Knee up in this lunge. Left hand on the ground. Twist, right arm comes up to the sky. Take your time coming into side plank. Drag that foot back, as many little micro steps as you need. And there you go. Or maybe even here. One more breath. Drop the top arm. Come back to squared into plank. Push back into downward dog. Phew! Drop your knees down. Sit back into a well-deserved child's pose. Whatever that looks like for you. Maybe rest your hands on your head on your fists. Maybe get something to set your head on. Arms up here, or maybe even arms back here. Hmm. Let your breath and your heart rate slow down. Wipe the sweat if you've got any. Hmm. When you're ready. And you don't have to be ready. I'm going to keep going. You can pause or come along with me. Come back up to hands and knees. Cross your ankles behind you. Walk your hands back and let's sit down on our bottoms. Ta-da! Scoot forward. Okay, I'm going to hold on to, you can hold on to your knees, shins, or the backs of your legs. We're going to rock forward and back a couple, uh, three times. Ready? Careful. Whoop. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hold on. <laughs> Watch out. And come back up. And back. 
and one more time. This seems like nothing at all, it just feels good, but it actually is strong on your tummy. That's what helps us come back to sitting. So when we come up this last time, let's come into boat. Boat can be straight legs, as long as you're able to keep your back straight. Otherwise, bend the knees, try to bring the shins up to parallel to the floor, arms beside you, or even hands holding on. And you can feel your tummy burning. When your tummy's burning, hold on harder, so that you don't compensate by rounding your back. Okay, rock again. Don't rock over anything like that. Oh. And back. And one more time, just because it feels good. Okay, again, half boat. And if you're shaking, then Good, because so am I. I'll never get rid of the shake. One more breath. It's harder each time. Hold on to your legs. Rock back. One more. Come up. Half boat. This time we are probably really worn out. Bring your hands behind you right here to give yourself some support to your back and then you really it actually becomes just as harder harder in your belly but without hurting your back without everything else working so hard if your feet are dropping it's okay maybe put one foot down the focus on the tummy one more breath and gently don't fall, gently let yourself all the way back down. Ah, hug your knees in towards your chest, together, apart, whatever feels good, rock on your back. Take a breath and let it out. Okay, let your feet come down to the ground. Keep your knees bent. Pull your pants up if they've rolled. Let's come into bridge. Arms down by your sides with your hands flipped up from the shoulder. So that's sort of opening the shoulder, opening the chest and the front shoulder. Press your feet into the ground and we're gonna lift our bottoms off the floor into bridge. Maybe you come a tiny bit up, maybe more, maybe it feels amazing and you Push all the way up. Go to where it feels good to you. And breathe. You can look straight up at your ceiling, or you can even kind of look down this way and see your belly rise and fall. As you... Okay. Gently, carefully, let yourself all the way back down. Rock your knees side to side. Just countering that little bit of arch in the back we just did. Okay, knees back to center. Bring your arms all the way out to the sides, palms flipped up. Knees bent, bring them up in the air. And we're gonna rock side to side, knees coming all the way, almost touching the floor, but not quite, and then bring it back to center and over to the other side. Big core, side obliques, obliques, side abdominals. Ready? And breathe in, bring it back to center. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale. Inhale back. Can you feel that? A lot of work here. Through all those stabilizing abdominal, oblique, and back muscles that keep our back safe. Okay, 
Okay, one more to each side. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale to the other side. Breathe in. Whew. Relax. Hug your knees in. Take your knees apart. Reach through, grab your ankles or your big toes. Come into happy baby. And we try to take our feet a little bit apart. If they don't go, just keep them in more because we want to keep the knees nice and bent. So if, if your legs start to straighten as you get your feet apart, let them be apart more by bending your knees. Or did that make any sense? Pretend you're a baby who just discovered your feet. That's what we do. Okay, feet together, take the feet back down to the floor. Hands on thighs and one at a time, push, push your thigh away from you and then both at the same time and you feel that traction in your lower back. Release it. Knees stay where they are or let them flop together. Take a couple of minutes here or as long as you want to rest. And sort of recenter yourself before you go back into life and the unknown. Feel all the work that your body just did for you. And feel what it took to do that, the strength of your body, the stamina. And that's one thing this year has shown us, I think more than anything else and more than any other year, is the stamina we all have that we didn't think we had. When this began, and then maybe a month into it, or two months into it, we all shook our heads going, I can't do this. I said it a million times, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. But here we are, we did. We did, somehow we did. Maybe a little bruised, maybe a little tired, but we're still here because we have such strength and such stamina. That is our human spirit. We keep going even when we don't feel like we are. Now bring one hand to your belly, one hand up to your heart. Continue breathing and feel the way your hands are moved by the air coming into your body. Nothing to force not trying to make your hands move more. Maybe they don't move much. That's okay. We're just noticing. Continuing to breathe and stay present and noticing. We're going to shift ourselves over to one side, curled up like you're going to go to sleep. Let your knees fall over. Maybe bring an arm under your head, under your ear. Feel this ground underneath you, whether it's your mat hard concrete or stone, whether it's soft carpet. Feel where you are and feel grounded in this moment. The top hand and arm, press it down into the ground. We'll start to lift ourselves up. Push up a little bit, use your elbow, other hand. 
and come to seated. Close your eyes. Notice the way you feel right now compared to before you turned on the video and chose to sit down and practice. Maybe a little more energized than before. Maybe a little stronger, a little brighter. But hopefully a little bit more relaxed and sure and confident, grounded. Feel free to stay here as long as you want, continuing to be mindful and present before going on about your day. Or you can finish with me. Bring your hands together at your heart. Press your thumbs against your breastbone. And take a breath here of gratitude for yourself for choosing to take the opportunity to care for yourself instead of choosing to just stay in that roundabout going in circles until you're dizzy. The light that is in me honors and shines on the light that is in each of you. Thank you for practicing with me today. Be safe, be well. Namaste.